Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is developing in interesting ways here. We are starting to move up again. Um, nothing too substantial yet. Um, and we don't have enough price structure to really confirm that we have a breakout here. But well, we have a technical breakout out of the channel to the upside, out of this impulsive channel here of wave C, or you could say the corrective wave Y channel, um, broke out to the upside. I told you in the previous video, if we get a breakout above the channel, which has just happened in the current one hour candle, again, bear in mind, the one hour candle isn't closed yet. But if we get that, we can carefully assume that wave two here is finished. By the way, wave two has spot on come down to the target I gave you of $20,720. <clears throat> this was the wave that why, <clears throat> sorry, that was the 100% projection um, of wave W. Yeah, the one to one ratio. So we can just double check that. Showed you here that an ideal target for the wave Y is the one to one projection of wave W. You can see here 20,700 um, is the one to one ratio, 100% length, the same length, both waves having the same length. Now, if the turnaround is really happening here, it would be great because the ideal target has been reached. To end this, um, of course, there are various ways of how to calculate a target for a wave two. This was one of the more specific ways. Now we can be, um, we can be uh, looking out for more buyers to come in now. Now, of course, this is not confirmed yet. There is not enough price structure in this small move up yet. But, um, and, and you know, another impulse to the upside. If we get an impulsive wave now on the smaller time frame to the upside, that will add more confidence to this um, scenario. Even more confidence would be obtained if we can move above this 21.6, 21.7 resistance area. Yeah. And then we can look at higher prices. Next resistance would be the wave B high here at 22.2 and then the wave X high here around 23K. So it will be an interesting day. Bear in mind, anybody who's trading today, it will be an unpredictable day. We've got the funding rate decision, um, the interest rates, Fed meeting, and the decision, I believe, as far as I know, will be communicated as, at two o'clock Eastern time. So how many hours is that from now? I believe roughly, where is that? I think it's, uh, I think it's five hours from now. I could be wrong. I think it's five hours from now. Um, no, I'm complete. No, 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 I'm wrong. Here in the UK, it's evening. Um, so it's two o'clock Eastern time then. So it will be at some point in the evening in the, um, in the UK. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see what uh, will happen. And however, bear in mind, across, you know, throughout that time, when you see those communications come out, or a couple of hours before that a couple of hours after that, again, it's two o'clock Eastern time, to my knowledge, there will be a lot of volatility in the market. So it will be unpredictable. There's a lot of bots trading. There's a bit of manipulation going on. There's a lot of speculation going on. So if you want to have high confidence trades, don't trade. <laughs> Ideally, either don't trade today or don't trade in exactly this period. Um, yeah, but I'm not telling you what to do. But overall, WXY could be complete. We're waiting for a first impulse to the upside. We might know more in the next video. Um, we are just below the resistance boxes. So we need to get above that. But we can be carefully complete that this uh, carefully, carefully confident that this wave two is now finished again, carefully confident. It's not high confidence until we see a first impulse now to the upside. We can also calculate now the target for wave three in yellow. That would then be the next target for the wave up. Bear in mind, nothing moves in a straight line. And the target for that, yeah, it would be 29 and a half K. That would be the minimum target for this wave three. But Bitcoin really needs to do it now because it already failed to reach the upside targets here in this wave. Yeah, so this did not become a wave three. It only became a wave one. So we have a wave one here, another wave two, a wave one and another wave two. And we could now see of this wave three belonging to this wave two wave degree. Yeah, that is where we are in now. One, two, three. Within this wave three, we have done the one in yellow. 
the two in yellow and we could now be starting the three. Now we don't have a lot of volume yet. Yeah? So after such a breakout, you ideally wanna see more volume. But again, those indicators are always a bit difficult because if we break through, for example, the next resistance level, you probably get that volume in. So we'll see at the moment, not a lot of volume in yet. We also had um, a slight bullish divergence only on the one hour chart though, but we had here a bullish divergence on the MACD, lower lows on the price chart, higher lows here on the MACD. We also had the bullish divergence on the, oh no, we didn't have it actually on the RSI, that must have been a different coin, but on the MACD we had a bullish divergence. And um, what do the indicators tell us on the four hour? Here as well, we are about to do a bullish break out, a bullish crossover on the MACD. Yeah, so that will cross here, the blue line will cr cross above the orange line and we had a bullish crossover already on the RSI crossing above the yellow line. All of that um, basically adding to the idea that we could have seen here the low at 20,700. However, not a lot of confidence yet and very little volume. What would be the target if we drop once more below 20,700? So let's take a look at that. That would be the next FIB level, the 78.6% Fibonacci retracement level. That is at pretty much $20,000. Yeah, and that's the update for Bitcoin. I'll update you later today, of course. So hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.